Good evening. This is Rupert Brown with the BNN Evening News, live at 6 o'clock. Our top stories tonight. The Sunni Shiite clash is set to worsen. 1,425,000 EU migrants swarm the UK. And time for change, as the Tories need the vote. The Sunni Shiite clash has worsened in Baghdad. There have been a series of explosions near a Sunni mosque. It has been reported that seven people are seriously injured and three civilians have been found dead. We go now to our foreign correspondent in Baghdad. Estelle, what's the latest? A new threat has definitely been posed here today in Baghdad. As the already tense secular violence increased following a number of bombings in the capital, killing what we so far know to be a total number of 14 people, injuring 21, all of the Shiite denomination. As you can see behind me here, Rupert, the sun has now set on central Baghdad, a place where merely a few hours ago, cries of terror and rage echoed carelessly throughout the streets. Estelle, what's the relationship between the Sunnis and the Shiites in Baghdad? The relationship between Sunni and Shiite Iraqi civilians has once again intensified following the execution of former leader Saddam Hussein, with today's violence proving to be yet another wake-up call for George Bush and his insurgents. The Sunni backlash that has occurred following Saddam's death has been loosely, and as some say, poorly controlled. This brings into question the use of sending 2,500 more American troops into the area, as not much seems to be getting done to help the situation. Not only does this new secular violence bring into disrepute the whole essence of what has already gone on here this week, but it leaves the question open as to whether peace can ever be found among Sunni and Shiite and Iraqis in the region. Thank you, Estelle. We will bring you more as the story progresses. 1,425,000 EU migrants are believed to have swarmed the UK since the succession of Bulgaria and Romania entered the EU this January. Julia Torres with this report. In 2004, the government estimated 12 to 15,000 immigrants would enter the UK as a result of the UK's open border scheme. Since then, 1,425,000 are estimated to have actually entered. A senior government official told BNN he did not have the faintest idea how many illegal immigrants have entered. I spoke earlier to Professor Wolfgang, lecturer at the London School of Economics. As more people come with higher spending and as their wages rise, it may lead to demand pull inflation. But will that not affect unemployment in the UK? It could affect unemployment in the future if we go through a downturn in the economy. Well, would these immigrants be claiming welfare benefits? Since May 2004, we've already had nearly three years, so some of those people who came would be entitled to claim if they are unemployed. Okay, Professor Wolfgang, thank you very much. My pleasure. In election news, the Tories are substantially leading the vote. We now go live to Westminster to join Eve Salvatore, our home correspondent, who has the latest. Yes, Rupert, for the first no, time since Thatcher's reign, the Tories are making their way back. Reports suggest that the Tories have received a total of 78% of the total vote, therefore holding a strong position here in the UK. Yeah. Eve, uh, why have the Conservatives taken on such a substantial lead in the public vote? The debate an issue as to why the Conservatives may have taken changes the Tories want to achieve? Well, David Cameron has consistently been promising improvements in the public sector, something he claims that Labour has failed on. This year, the major target focuses on improving the health service. There have been, as we know, the strains on the overall level of cleanliness in hospitals with the ongoing scare of the deadly MRSA bacteria plaguing our hospitals. Cameron promises more money being invested into improving the state of our hospitals in the UK. Back to you in the studio, Rupert. Uh, thank you, Eve, for that update. Now, in all the news, scientists claim that the nation is worsening the problem of pollution. Taking the bus, cycling, or even walking can help the atmosphere become less polluted. It is reported that piracy on the internet has increased by 5%, costing the British music industry £1.1 billion, incurring a loss of £414 million. Reports suggest that obesity figures are escalating in the UK, up from 5% to 9%, causing a high health risk factor. And those were our main stories. Thank you for watching BNN News.